So there's either going to be a giant Bowser's castle in here, or there's going to be nothing at all, and I don't remember which it was last time. And... It is a whole bunch of massively, incredibly well-detailed stuff. Oh, that's cool. All right, so it's not... Oh, there's actually different music this time. Nice. All right. Welcome on in. My name is Brian Saviano Bricks O'Brien. So I guess it's not too, too much detail because that's a typical uh, nether structure over there. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. All right. Well, let's go over this way and figure this out. I don't think I actually went in here last time. There's like dry bone skulls everywhere. Bowser's actual castle. Cool. So that's pretty awesome. Nice. So I took a little bit of a break. I did not end up getting any sleep at all. I wish I did, but I did not actually get any sleep. Um, I think I'm going to do that after I eat lunch for today. I think I'm going to get myself a fairly nice meal. I'm thinking some pasta, man. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm feeling some pasta. I haven't had a good dish of pasta in a long time, so we'll see how well that ends up going. Um, is there... No. Okay. So I keep coming up with these, like, fictitious rules in my head for, like, oh, you shouldn't be able to, you know, go over here or do this or do that. Why is this here? Ah, uh, that's weird. Um, but you shouldn't be able to visit this one area because of, you know, not being able to damage blocks or anything. And all that's just kind of a, a load of nonsense. Like, none of that actually means anything. It's just me kind of making up rules in my head because. So... Um, none of that actually applies, so I'm gonna try to not think like that for the remainder of this playthrough because oh That's a big Bowser's castle cool, so I'm gonna make my Make my way over there and see how that works out You know because I'm trying to think of this from the design philosophy of somebody who I don't know designs Minecraft maps or whatever I I mean I don't but I'm just trying to get into the head of someone who does so See how well that works. I'm assuming that would have triggered some enemies if I were not in peaceful mode. So I'm just gonna zoomy zoomy on right through here, hopefully. Ooh, wait, hold on. That's a new enemy. What is that? Oh, it's the extending things from Mario Odyssey. It's the onions. Oh, okay. So they added this mob relatively recently. So back when this first came out, this enemy was not in the game. Or it's not an enemy, it's, an, it's a, you know, whatever. This was not in the game. So now, with the new and the new mobs added into the game, they retextured them, they updated them to make them actually make sense. So that's cool that the cabbage guy is there, the onion friend. I forget what they're called, but in Mario Odyssey, they make you extend all the way up super high so you can get to high spots. That's pretty sweet. And obviously, because I'm, imagine, imagine if I um, were in here, and I didn't have a bed to reset myself, that would be a little bit problematic. So luckily, not the case here. Bam, hit the thing, there we go. Um, okay. So I think what I'm gonna do by the end of this here is I'm gonna play through this almost in its entirety. Well, I'm gonna explore every given area, but I'm also gonna be like, hey, what do each of these mobs look like now, especially the newer and updated ones, because those are uh, of substance. That, there's nothing in there. I could have risked my life to go over there. That would have been bad. But, you know, what do these other mobs look like? Is it interesting? Is it just kind of whatever? Oh, there's Big Bowser. Hi, Bowser. Okay. Uh, long time no see. Hope the kids are well. Or hope Bowser Jr. is well. You only have one kid, technically. Because uh, the Koopalings do not count as your children, as we know. Um, I'm thinking there is nothing around here, right? There's this area over here, so that, that I can explore in a hot second here, but everything inside of here, I like what they did with the pixel artwork here. This all looks really cool. But I'm really glad that they actually updated these, um, these worlds to involve the newer mobs. That's really, really cool. They didn't have to do that, but that's a little uh, extra attention to detail that definitely pays off. Yeah, it seems like there's nothing over there. Um, or you can go down toward this way. Like, it's not like you can't. You can do whatever you want in Minecraft. You can go inside a Bowser's skull if you wanted to, like, whatever. But, 
just kind of thinking of where they put each of the different stairways. Like, does that actually lead to something or is it just there just because? So they added jack-o'-lanterns for the eyes there. Uh, and the mouth is just all wool and whatnot. That's really cool. Really awesome details here. I'm curious if they took the model for Bowser and put it into a computer program and basically just got the model as it was there. Like, I wonder if they handmade it at all. I don't know. Uh, they probably did a combination of both. Uh, I got this music disc here. Well, that's kind of weird. All right. Well, I don't know if that was... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that was uh, supposed to happen, but sure, whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Yep. So this is a little trippy in case you're watching this. Yep. There you go. Um, it looks like you could have just walked all the way around. All right. So there wasn't really any boss battle or anything involving Bowser. He's just kind of chilling there more for the, uh, the sake of showing off what he looks like. So that's pretty dope. Let's go back over toward here. Is there anything in the top of the castle? I mean, obviously I know Yoshi is not up here because that's in for, uh, top of Peach's castle. Speaking of which, Peach's castle still have not seen, man. Still have not seen that. I remember Delfino Isle, uh, Delfino Plaza is in the game in this whole map situation here. So still haven't seen that, which is kind of surprising. Assuming that I can't actually go up toward that way, I'll go the proper way all the way around here and see if I can make any progress. Um, these are obviously not based off of any particular Mario levels or anything like all this platforming and whatnot. Um, they're just kind of there. Because, obviously, the Mario games do not have giant pixelated renditions of the enemies kind of lurking around you. They're all moving. Um, obviously, I like... Like, the Bullet Bill actually came out really, really well. It's really good to have these in case you want to be inspired for, like, voxel art. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, and voxel art is different from pixel art, in case you're curious. In that pixel art uses... What is that? I don't know. Uh, pixel art uses 2d images in order to convey whatever it's supposed to convey voxel art uses cubes so technically all of minecraft is in voxels instead of being in pixels so keep that sort of thing in mind um i think this is when they toss a like a, a wait is this regular minecraft music this is regular minecraft music it's a very creepy it's the creepiest of the minecraft music uh, but I think it's when they throw a spike ball down toward that way. So the way that these, these like, texture packs and level packs work is they basically design the level to replace something else. So in the file for the games, there should have been something to replace this song with an original Mario song, right? But because this was released so many years ago, and they probably didn't have the same licensing deal or whatever, they couldn't make that happen, which is fine. I mean, they replaced the, the cabbage enemy, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and when you're down here, I guess you just go... Oh, well, clearly, I fell right there accidentally. Didn't mean to do that. Um, but I'll see if there's anything down here. I'm on low battery already? Nice. Solid. Absolutely solid. But luckily... The Nintendo Switch controller's battery lasts for 16,000 hours, so it's fantastic. Um, so there's technically nothing to replace the um, the music that's the super creepy music, which is totally fine. It's totally fine. Um, I'll head over here, I guess. So, I, And I'm also trying to follow the natural progression of whatever's going on here, you know? Go up all and down the ladders, and there's a voxel art of dry bones. Very, very cool. Um, anything else of note? Let me let me just go up toward here. I don't see anything super crazy, and then you go over toward here. You go down that way. Um, what is this? So that is a crimson forest, but that is a oh, it's a stack of what? So, like, okay, they retexture a lot of stuff in Minecraft, right? So, like, this is supposed to be... No, this is um, a basalt biome. So, that's basalt right there, right? Is there any way for me to, like, select an item in creative? I know you can do that in... um. You can do that in... Uh, what's it called? Java version or on PC. It's the middle mouse button. I don't know how to select it. But whatever this is, is meant to look like... I think war pipes? It's weird. All right, well, 
That's clearly very out of place, but whatever. I'm going to take a look at all the new blocks that were not a part of the original release and see what those look like. So clearly, that was modified a little bit down there. Um, there's this. And, oh, a uh, big, big thing for you. If you crouch while you're going down on um, the slime, you will stop whatever you're doing. So in case you want it, you're bouncing and you don't want to perpetually bounce, that's a great way to get yourself to stop. So... There you go. Life pro tip for you over there. Uh, and if I make my way over toward here, go all the way down. I'm just trying to like, you know, instead of taking the minecart, obviously, this is a much uh, more efficient way of going about it. And then boom, you end up right over toward this way. And I believe the exits, yep, right over toward here. Cool. So that was the nether. Very nice. What I also tried to do... Okay. I'm just stuck in the loop of time. Uh, what I tried to do was get a map going so I could actually check out where everything is. But the way that the map is organized, like this corner is in a weird spot. It's on a different map, so whatever. There is this island over here, which there is no way to get over here in like a natural way that things progress, I guess. So that warp pipe doesn't actually lead anywhere or come from anywhere. It's just kind of there. So this is a whole Shy Guy Island. And this is like the very edge of the map over here. So if I go over here... There's just literally a giant Shy Guy, Voxel Shy Guy, really, really cool. And I'll take a look inside of Shy Guy to see if there's anything there. Ooh, there is something down here. All right. What's this? It's, uh, oh, it's a whole thing. All right. I guess I'm not going in. Sh oh, wait, is there an actual way to get over here? And I just didn't, whoa. All right. Um, oh, it's a note block thing. Oh, I should probably play this. Oh, but the music's going. Uh, I don't know if it'll pick up on it here um i think it will oh it totally will hold on hold on hold on okay so i think i did this wrong okay so i wait i don't think i did this wrong let me see let me go back over here because i don't want to totally ruin all of this all right give me this now if i go over here place this down here in here yep and then bam there we go so now this should work Unless this music of Princess Peach's castle is going to be super obnoxious and uh, not work. But we'll see if the note blocks actually cancel out whatever is going on over here. I can't hear that. I can't hear that at all, but I'm thinking it's like... It's the underground music, like do-do-do-do-do-do. Do 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 do, but because Princess Peach's <laughs> castle music is so high, I can't hear anything. So that's something, uh, definitely a complaint, I guess, is um, you know, the fact that this music it's the same like seven music tracks on a loop constantly. There's kind of nothing different about them, so they kind of get a little obnoxious. But other than that, I guess it's fine. Uh, so I'm back over toward here. That's interesting. All right. So it goes all the way down here. So yeah, there's no... Oh, there is a pathway. So like, if I were to take this path naturally, go all the way over here, over here, fire... Oh, there's a piranha plant over here. So this is like the classic... Oh, this is Super Mario Brothers 3. Oh, that's cool. All right. Nice. All right. So I need to get inside of there. I could just break the blocks, obviously, but there is a key. There's a key somewhere. Key? No. There's usually a little bit of a trigger to get inside of here, right? Because I can't just bust through the doors. I gotta light something up somewhere, somehow. So I'm gonna look for that key for a hot minute here. And if I don't find anything, I'm just gonna call it. There is nothing inside of that castle. Absolutely not. Look at look at that attention to detail. Look at that. <laughs> Massive ca castle to explore there. Hey, world. Load. World? No? No? All right, I guess, I guess the switch is like, you know what? I don't feel like, I don't feel like playing games today. No, no, I don't feel like it. Um, okay, so there's nothing inside of here. There's all sorts of warp pipes everywhere, man. I didn't realize that the first time around. I definitely like skimped out. I mean, I normally do on these maps. I usually give like a relatively quick overview, but I don't do anything too crazy. Like, oh, it's just a little teleport there. Um, I don't go too, too in-depth on these. I just kind of fly over them and leave you to explore them for yourself. But because... There's a jungle temple. Because there's actually no video games coming out 
anytime really soon. I figure why not make this spicy stuff happen. That's Yoshi's house. Oh, this is Super Mario World. Oh, that's cool. Wait, okay. So this is Yoshi's house over here. Hi, Yoshi. Well, Yoshi isn't actually anywhere around here. There's nothing in his house, really? You couldn't include nothing? All right, cool. Well, up over here, let's see how accurate this is. I, I love how I just kind of stumble across all these different areas. It's like, oh, hey, here's just this entire representation for a video game right over here, just chilling. Oh, so there is a yellow switch. That's cool. Nice. I don't think it does anything, right? Let's take a look. I'm going to take a deep dive. Nope, nothing. All right, so it doesn't technically do anything, but that's cool. So you got uh, all... Is this the entire map? They have the entire map for Super Mario World in here? That's kind of incredible. Wow. And there's like a random jungle biome right there for no reason. Okay. So is there anything of note inside of these castles? Because obviously each of these little points right here represents a level. Each of these castles is a coupling. I love how I just stumbled across this stuff. Oh, that's a lot of hardcore, hardcore parkour. That's some hardcore parkour. Um, how on earth would I get... Am I supposed to get over there? Am I supposed to get up top? I don't think I'm supposed to get up top. Oh, I am supposed to get up top. Uh, I don't know how I do that. Um... Do I jump? No. There's no way. No, you can't do that. That's impossible. There's no way. Especially with the lag on the Switch, there's, there's at zero chance. There is zero chance that's happening. What about... Okay, so there... I don't, I don't know. Hey, man. I have no idea how that would have worked, but I would have got some salmon and part of a Tanuki suit. So, <laughs> clearly wasn't worth it. Whatever. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the, it's the Tanuki dude from, um, oh, Mario Sunshine. That's cool. So that's the one that gives you the, uh, the shines in the, in the hut that you save him. And he's just greedy because he wants blue coins constantly. Gotcha. Those blue coins are so obnoxious, by the way. Uh, you probably played Mario Sunshine as a part of the 3D collection, which actually gets delisted from the shop today, as a matter of fact. But, um, they, they, there's just so many blue coins. It's really really unnecessary i don't i don't like it at all that is there's a lot of filler in that game man there's nothing up here oh there is something up here okay a lot of filler in that game man but you know it's still decent it's still worth playing at least the main shine sprite missions but otherwise yeah no oh wait is it oh it's a green it's a is it the switch do i need to press the green switch where is the green switch i press the yellow one what? Is that yellow? Wait, what? Okay. Did that do it? So I thought the button would have been it. Right? I mean, that seems... Oh. Um. Oh, the redstone. Oh, did I mess this up? Wait, did I mess it up? I think I kept it intact. I think I just damaged it enough that it didn't actually do any damage. So now if I go back down toward here, does it work? E no. All right. It's the same color. So I must have... Let me, let me try this one more time. I think I might have accidentally deactivated it. Hold on. Hold on. Bear with me. Try it there. All right. So now I'll go back down here. Imagine if I went all the way up. Really? That's weird. All right. Well, I think it should have activated in some way, which is really, really cool. And that's a lot of redstone wiring to get that all the way down to there and over here. That's a lot. That's a lot of effort, man. But that uh, that's cool. But you don't necessarily get anything crazy from doing this anyways. Kind of have to hold the controller like a like a claw, I guess. And there you go. You get the, the doorway right down there. Cool. Um, oh, even the underground... Man, there's so much stuff going on here. It's actually incredibly impressive. I, I just scrolled through stuff like many years ago, but now there's just that more going on. All right, so there's that. I'm getting emails left and right, about 7,000 different projects I got working on. You know, that's actually something that I've uh, kept busy with. Although there haven't been a lot of video games and whatnot coming out, I have been keeping busy doing a whole bunch of other stuff. A lot of the uh, hotness, as I call it, that you can find out across the social medias 
and everywhere else. All, all sorts of cool stuff. Kind of, sort of, always in the works, which is great. Because it keeps me busy, and it's exciting stuff that I, I'm excited about. Maybe you would be too, if you knew about what those things were. Okay. No, so I hit- wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I hit the red switch. I hit the red switch. Yes. Hit that. Hit that. Okay. So that should be through, right? That went through. All right. So there should be some indicator because what if you happen to step on that a second time and then you walk all the way back around? Like that, that would be a little problematic. So what? Oh, it's just to pass that way. Gotcha. Okay. So you can see how you're not supposed to break blocks and do the puzzles as you're supposed to. Like that's sort of kind of what you have to do. Um, okay. So there's this all the way over here. You make your way up the ladder. So this one being the red one. Oh, okay. I guess not. Uh, oh, this one confused me like nobody's business. This whole forest. I actually had to look up online how to pass this area. When I played Super Mario World, there was no way I was getting through this forest, man. And I'm glad that Yoshi's just chilling right here, man. Nice voxel Yoshi. Now would be a good time probably to take a... Why is... Why is that there? That's like... Wire? I don't know why. Uh, but now would be a good time to take a look at Yoshi. See what's inside here. Probably just filling. Oh, he's got a brain. That's Yoshi's brain. Oh, he's got a big brain. Oh, a bit. Oh, oh, that's his whole guts. This is the guts of Yoshi. It's very, uh, very pink and very colorful. It's like dinosaur meat. Very, uh, just exited. <laughs> I just dismembered Yoshi. All right. Well, let's just, uh, pretend that didn't happen. And keep this very wholesome. Yoshi's not dead, kids. Don't worry. He's fine. I promise you, Yoshi is fine. There is nothing to be concerned about. Do not be concerned with Yoshi having a massive gash in his <laughs> nostrils caused by a toad that's on fire. D don't pay any mind whatsoever. I promise it's fine. How... Okay. Switch to this mode. How on earth... Oh, wait. No, how do you... What? What do you do? You're supposed to place blocks, right? How are you supposed to pass that? There's, you can't make that jump. That's literally impossible. That is quite literally impossible. That That is... How... No, come on. Look at that. No way. Unless I have no idea how to play Minecraft. Oh, I have no idea how to play Minecraft. All right, I guess... <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can. All right. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, I love constantly disproving myself and everything I do. It makes me feel great. This looks like a little poopy. All right. I don't. I don't normally use the 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 poopy. I mean, what what is this supposed to be? A little ghost house? I think a ghost house. It looks like a little. Anyways. All right. Gonna go over here. I want to find Bowser's castle, man. I know I'm progressing through the levels as I should, but I want to find him. Ooh, there's a Switch, and not a Nintendo Switch either. I'm actually very glad I decided- I know, I'm fully aware, all right? Um, I'm glad I decided to replay through this, man. I'm having actually a lot of fun with it, you know? I thought this would be a little bit of a- like it doesn't quite hold up as it should. Oh, that could have been bad. Um, but no, it holds up pretty well. A lot of stuff to- uh, look forward to and see with that, so that's nice. I'm assuming that unlocked something over here. What's this? I don't need that. I'm a professional. Uh, okay, as I fall into the lava, beautiful. I didn't think this entire- Oh, so this is the battle where you, you know, exits out of the different warp pipes and does all the different things. Cool. So over here is probably a switch, right? No? Okay. Um, oh. There's like all different levers up here. Does it have anything? To oh, down here. Gotcha. Now that go. Oh, okay. So I should have placed something that would have fallen down there, probably with involving an enemy or something, but yeah, not quite. Oh, is there an underwater portion? No way. I don't think so. It's just the undersea cavern here. Yeah. So they do that in a lot of these Minecraft maps. They actually like implement the actual structures from the game, even though it doesn't make sense for the game, they still end up doing that. So that's interesting. So I forget, you go 
from- Oh, down here. No, you don't go down there. Can I exit through here? There's nothing down there. All right. So, I don't know where I can access Bowser's castle. I, I'm gonna fly over to Yoshi's Island over here just to take a look at this. There's a giant egg. That's cool. It's just for display, obviously. But I don't know where I could access Bowser's castle because I think you go into the water area and then back down? Unless it's hidden inside of this mountain, which it might be. Right? Isn't it technically inside the mountain? Let's take a look in here. Yeah, so that's just where that was. Right, right. Okay, I don't know. I don't think there's a Bowser's Castle. I could be wrong. But if there is, it's not very apparent. So that's interesting. But hey, at least there's that. And then this goes into... Oh! That looks like a, a little bit of the bomb 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 battlefield. Cool. And there's Wiggler. So uh, this is clearly not loading. So I'm going to get to a point because uh, you can exit actually right over toward this way and head into wherever this area is. So I'm going to find the pathway again and explore more of the Super Mario World Super Mario pack. But this is clearly not loading. So I'm going to give it a second.